Hello there, folks, it is TIJ Gaming, and welcome to a brand new video. Today is time for the second part of season three of the Tour de France 2020 Pro Team Career Mode with the TIJ Racing Team. Remember, if you go on to enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like down below, comment your thoughts as well, and subscribe for regular content on a Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6 pm on the channel. Now, it is the conclusion of La Route course today for the first tour of the 2022 season. And the first stage started very, very well for us. Van Baal managed to win the stage. It was a real surprise. Um, a new rider, and we went uh, to try and get some climbs with him, also try and get some points. And to be honest, it went really well for us, and Van Baal won the stage very, very unexpected there. So we lead the general classification. We also lead the best climber classification. We did really well um, on the mountain passes in that stage. We only gave one point away, as you can see, four of our riders taking the points there. Van Baal, because of that last sprint, got a nice lead in the points classification. But we're really looking for Ben Swift um, to do well in that sprinting classification. But as you can see, hasn't really got off to a start yet. Young rider classification, uh, Maduas and Gagenhart, both uh, in that top eight that are still on the same. Second, we lead the team classification and the other classification, um, Maduas leads. But we're looking pretty good in the pro cycling rankings at the moment. 29 points in that first stage. And today, it is time for the final two stages of the tour. We've got a hilly stage and then a mountain stage to finish us off. So, here we go. For the first stage of the day, it is a hilly stage. Let's see how we get on. The main thing to grasp today is that the route is flat and it harbours no particular difficulties. A sprint finish is more than likely. As we've got the yellow jersey, we'll have to shoulder our responsibilities and set the pace in the peloton. Teams interested in the stage win will have to give us a hand towards the end. We don't have what it takes to be in the final sprint. If we want to make a showing, we'll have to be in the early breakaway. Have a good stage. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The punchers should be in the spotlight today. With a climb 10 kilometers from the finish, they can harbor serious hopes of victory. Here we are then for stage number two of La Route Course. So a few objectives today. Um, and those to retain the lead of the two classifications we lead, and also to finish in the first 25 place of the stage with Ben Swift. Now, there are some opportunities to get some points today, particularly in that first sprint. Now, I was thinking about going with Gagenhart, and I think we will go with Gagenhart in the early breakaway today, and we're also going to go with Ben Swift. Again, Ben Swift to try and get some points in the sprinting classification. If we go with Van Baal, um, it's going to be impossible, to be quite honest, because the yellow jersey can never get away from the peloton. That's just a fact. And as soon as we hold that yellow jersey, we haven't got much chance of getting away. But I think with Gagan Hart um, and with uh, Ben Swift, we can hopefully get in that early break. I hopefully take some points, some very valuable points in the uh, sprinting classification. Try and get some mountain stage points. But this is not the most important stage. It's more of a, st of a stability stage today and uh, tomorrow's stage. Stage number three will no doubt be the most important. But we'll try and get an early breakaway going. Try and get Swifty in that breakaway as well. And we'll see how we are when we come up to that first sprint. Well, good news is we've got one of our guys in the main breakaway. And I'd argue we've got the most important man that we need in that early breakaway. We tried a few, a few early breakaways with Tao Gagenhart and Ben Swift. But unfortunately, um, Ben Swift was the only man who stayed in that breakaway. He's with De Klerk, not quite Le Klerk. As I made that joke the last time he was in a breakaway. Moscon and uh, somebody else. Not going to. Uh, Siskaficius. That's about my best pronunciation of that name. Uh, we're obviously going to go for the 20 points here. I'm going to also keep an eye on uh, some of our other guys as well. Tell Van Baal. Um, and probably if they need to put a good effort in the, in the relay and try and get some, some good points there. But the 20 points, obviously, is the most important thing we can do. Uh, with Swift. We've got a nice lead in this breakaway as well, so I think we've definitely got a chance of getting some points for the mountain classification, although that's not necessarily what we want with Ben Swift. Um, if he can do a job, it does um, make sure that obviously anybody else behind can't get too many points, prevents anybody else getting too many points. And I think the gap's a little bit too big now for anybody to really get into that breakaway. So, here we go. The first sprint of the day. We know Swift is a very good sprinter. Maybe should have given him a bit of feed. Going to struggle with that little amount of feed. Actually, yeah, that's uh, a bit ill-advised from us, to be honest, in the end, I think. Don't know, though. It's going to be tight. Ah, well done, Swifty. Good lad. Oh, wow, we've blown up. That happened pretty quickly. I can't believe how quickly that happened. Wow. That happened all of a sudden. 
And that's going to make it really tough to catch up to anybody else now. <clears throat> They're the guys in front. And I also fell asleep a little bit. Oh, we were caught napping. There you go, that classic. And uh, I've actually forgot to get our other guys to attack. So, unfortunately, it's just Ben Swift to get to the points. But this points will definitely take. As I said, we were caught napping a little bit there. Don't want to use too much of our feed before the next climb. But I think that we uh, are going to struggle to keep up with these guys now. So... Again, maybe should have took a bit of that feed before that sprint. But we blew up so quickly there. We'd actually got a little bit of energy left. But I think it was just because both of the uh, amount of energy bars went down at the same time. That's, what we blew up. That's why we blew up so quick. So I think it'd be tough to catch up to the guys ahead. But seeing as they've got no motivations, I don't think, for the mountains classification. Um, I don't think it's too much of a risk. Well, this is fascinating. First climb of the day. There are five of us in the breakaway. Stanard is coming to join us. Another rider from Ineos. But we actually were about a minute behind this breakaway earlier on. And then uh, Izagir from the Astana team started to really put, us, uh, put a shift in. He caught up with us about 60 seconds behind the breakaway. And we put in some really good pace and managed to catch this breakaway up. Now, we can put some good effort on, on this one because we get a feed strike after this climb. So it's not going to be too damaging to really go for it here with uh, Swifty. Just try and take any points away from these guys. And... Uh, it's a pretty level climb. De Klerk is there. And we get the two points. Well, Swifty's not a mountain rider, but he did really well there. Outstanding stuff. I think all of our other guys are okay behind. We'll keep an eye on them. Uh, and probably look to go into the peloton now, rather than focus on Swifty too much. Uh, just to see what happens in the peloton. If there's any attacks, then we need to respond to those pretty quickly. Well, this is an interesting development. It seems Quintana has decided to go for it here. Without us really telling him to, he's gone for it. And as you can see, the guys ahead aren't really setting that much pace. And uh, we could get the five points here with Quintana, as well as getting some nice points with Swifty. It's definitely worth a look, this. Obviously, we can't control Swifty, which won't help us too much. But this is good for us. Quintana now to the head of this group. We don't have to set too much pace here. I don't think the rest of these guys are. They're going to be pretty tired as they come to the top here. But they're okay to not risk taking any feed. And with half a kilometre to go, we will tell Ben Swift to uh, just go for it. Attack, as we will do as well with Quintana. We know he's a good climber. Oh, we've gone too early with him. That's uh, a little bit of a poor show. Oh, it doesn't work there. But look at Swifty. Oh, that didn't really work, did it, for Quintana? That's a shame, because he worked quite hard to get up there. We just went a little bit early with him, and perhaps we should have maybe taken a little bit of feed, possibly. But we didn't. It's just one of those things. And, uh, well, we've got two riders in the breakaway now. This is going to be an interesting development. The next climb coming up very quickly. So, uh, I'll see you guys when we're close to the top there. Another second-class climb. Another chance for points. This is going to get interesting. Well, things are starting to get interesting now. As you can see, the breakaway is losing a lot of ground. But equally, the guys behind uh, are splitting into little groups. Now, we've got our three main guys in the peloton. Afini's starting to drop behind. He's definitely not a strong man in the mountains. And uh, I think we'll pick another rider for other events. But So this is going to be interesting. Remember, this is the last difficulty of the day. It's pretty much all downhill till the end. We have got a third class climb, but I think that's going to be fairly uh, moderate, I don't think. Not too bad. Just try and take the five points here with Quintana. Swifty's all right. So is the guy, everyone in the in the peloton. But I think the peloton will probably try and catch up. Because you can see, they're just there. There's the, the peloton just there. De Klerk has fell off this group. Remember, of course, Quintana's got two points in the mountain classification. I think Swifty's got six now, actually. So Maduas might well lose the polka dot jersey, but to one of his teammates. We are showing a really good team showing in this uh, mountain classification, though, which is fantastic. Not setting too much pace, although I think we will go for it a little bit now. Might be worthwhile here. We've got a great glitch where it doesn't take any of the feed. Marvellous. It's fairly level, at least, though, at the top now. I'll tell you what, we're getting our timings completely wrong today with these climbs. We'll see, though. Come on, Quintana. Ah, second will take it. Oh, dear. I didn't realise he got that many points. Well, 
We've lost the polka dot jersey. That's a shock. That is a real shock. Hmm. Interesting. But we can win it back in the next stage. I mean, there are still a few points to go in this stage anyway before the end. So it's not uh, the end of the world. But 54th kilometres to go. Again, there's two last milestones, really. We've got the third class climb. We can win the polka dot jersey back. And I think we're probably looking to, for, uh, to Maduas to win that back. That climb only being 10 kilometres before the end. And then straight after that, of course, we've got uh, the last sprint of the day. Well, interestingly, we've left the break. Well, there's only two guys in it now. And uh, we're going to lose some more ground, I think, for that polka dot jersey. But I'm not too worried about it. It's only two points available here. Won't be too damaging. I think Maduas can do it in the next stage. I'm not too worried. But uh, it's pretty much the 10 kilometer line now. It's not. It looks like it might well be a bit of a bunched finish here, you know. And I don't want to do too much about it. I don't want to burn energy too much. This gear does take the two points again, though. It's going to be one man at the front. I can't see him winning it, but I mean, that gap is pretty big. So I suppose you never know. Uh, Quintana, we're just going to tell him not to override here. Although, to be fair, we can just tell him to use his gel at this point. It's not going to be too harmful. But I think I'm going to tell uh, our main guys, Gagan, Hart, Medeus, and Van Baal, just to put an attack in, just to try and really set some good pace. Because I think Izagir is a, is a bit of a, a headache for us, to be honest. He's a good mountain rider. And uh, he might have just performed a bit of a mastermind here. With seven kilometres to go, I don't think he's going to be caught. But let's see. Let's see if he loses a lot of pace. But we're going to try and do our best to stop him putting a lot of pace here. I think this is the same stage. I certainly recognise this end um, from last year. But uh, Madu is putting in a good turn of pace here. Obviously, we need to be aware of Swifty. But we'll keep Swifty in the peloton. I'm surprised at uh, is a gear here. I really am. But I think if we're just going for a... Um, stage win here we go with Medeus the rest of the guys just keep cozy inside the peloton but to be honest looking at that gap I think it might come down before the end I think it might come down I'm gonna keep on board with uh, Medeus we'll actually give all our guys their feed while I remember it and then I think we switch to uh, ben Swift fairly shortly. And we'll just get him to put some good pace in here. I don't know where he is in this group. But he's got. I hope he's fairly high up. But there's the big man. Just ahead. I think we will catch him before the end. But he's tense. Unfortunately we can't take our feed with Medeus at the moment. It's that lovely glitch as usual. Uh, red gel, red gel, red gel. Okay, all okay. Let's go back to Swift. And then Medeus can take his feet there. Right. Swifty's got to be well placed here. I think there's no worry about catching the man in front. Hmm. A little bit too far back for my liking here. A little bit too far back. Two kilometres to go. Peloton's all bunched up. Quintana's actually been left behind, which is a shame, but... Again, we're not really going for the general classification with him. Get all our guys to attack. Just try and put us maximum effort in here. It's going to be tricky for Swifty to win this. But he's fairly well placed. Here we go. Come on, son. This looks good. Oh, need to get to that outside. Come on, Swifty. Oh, it's going to be a little bit too little too late, I think. Hmm. Just didn't have the room there. Too many guys went for it, I think, and we just didn't have the room to push our way through. But we didn't do too badly there at all. I don't think we can argue with that. I think, though, that the points classification might be a classification we might have to lose out on in this LaRue course this year. Um, it's just not worked out for us, particularly the, the sprints so far. You can just see here that, uh, again, there just wasn't the space to go for it in the end, unfortunately. We could have gone around the outside, but it uh, didn't quite happen in the end. But not a bad stage. Can't complain about that too much again. Just a bit of a transitional stage for us. And uh, now we move on to the big one at the end of this tour. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome so, the winner of the stage. Don't recognise that uh, jersey. Who's this then? Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Well, yellow jersey man. He's still our man, I think at least. Van Baal. Yep, no change there. Points classifications winner of the stage. That Kakar. Kakar. 
you know, I'll stop making a joke. Uh, is a gear takes the best climber classification. That is a bit of a disappointment, but Teo Gagenhart um, takes that young rider classification. So not all bad. I think we can definitely recover uh, in the final stage. That's okay. You rode a very good stage. Finishing in the top 10, even though the stage didn't suit us, is very satisfying. We retain the yellow jersey. It's a perfect day. I agree with that. Uh, I mean, he took 12 points today, did his gear. We were uh, caught by him a little bit there, caught napping. Good amount of points taken by Swift. I'm happy with that. Yeah, that's not as bad as I first initially thought. I mean, Van Baal's got a 12-second lead. Um, I think that's really something to save. We've got Ben Swift, Gagenhart, Medus all in a win with a shout as well. So uh, this is going to be interesting. Certainly going to be interesting. As you can see, there's only 35 guys that are on that 16-second uh, mark or above. Best climate classification, only three points behind. We're going to purely go with it with Medus this time rather than anybody else. And I think we should be okay. We are pretty good in the mountains with him. Van Baal only one point behind. Uh, Kakar. Uh, ben Swift's up there as well. So we've definitely got a chance. We just need things to go for us in the next stage. Uh, did we get any points there? Yeah, we've got five points. So very, very good. Happy with that. And now we move on to the final stage of this year's LaRoute course. It's the final stage, guys. It's a day in the mountains. The finish isn't decided at the top of the climb, but the route is challenging, and it's an important day for the general classification. We're in a good position to win the general classification, but we can still lose everything. Be on your guard. We don't have what it takes to play a prominent role. If we want to make a showing, we'll have to join the early breakaway. Good luck, guys. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This course can stage promises to be a great show. The climbs found at the beginning should provide us with a fine battle between the contenders for the polka dot jersey and the final climb will force the favourites to show their worth. I have to say, I am really looking forward to this challenge. Just look at that start of the stage. That is frightening. Four climbs, one after another, before a feed. This is going to really separate the men from the boys straight away. And remember, after those climbs, we've got another first class climb. And, uh, well, it's fairly obvious. It's a straight fight between the two men that have broke away for this polka dot jersey. Isagia and Maduas. And I would actually suggest as well that it might well be a straight fight between the two of us for the yellow jersey. Um, we have got a few objectives today. Of course, two of those are to retain the lead of the yellow jersey and the uh, white jersey with Gagan Hart and Van Baal. That's to be expected. But the interesting thing is is that we have options. I am really excited. We've got options. We have got Ben Swift, of course, to look to try and get that uh, sprinting jersey. Only one chance to get that. Only 20 points available. So I think, actually, Swift is going to struggle. I think it might well be Van Baal, actually, that we're going to have to go over. Yeah, 20 points available. Van, Van Baal is the man that's going to have to get that green jersey for us. So he's got to be there at the end. So Swift, he might well take a back seat today, more of a protective role, which is okay. Um, we've got Van Baal, of course, for that yellow jersey we've just been discussing. We've got Maduas, who secretly is probably our main man, but we'll have to make a choice later in the stage which guy we prioritise. But for the polka dot jersey, certainly, um, these first three climbs, at least 20 points available, is a massive chance for us to do something here. And uh, I think this is going to be this is going to be decided pretty early, I would say actually, because after that that first four climbs, some guys are going to be absolutely knackered. Hmm, this is going to be a very interesting stage. I'm fully looking forward to it, and I'll see you guys at the first climb, which isn't too far away. I've had a think about this, and I think it's better to stay put a little bit. I mean, Bilbao has got no points in the climbing classification. The three guys ahead are of no risk, and because they've got no points straight at the moment, it suggests to me that they're not too bothered about the polka dot jersey, and also that they haven't potentially got the stamina up the mountains. I think that really that breakaway is more bait than anything else for us. So I'm going to hang tight and then just go for it at the end. There is no use going for it too early on this climb. This is a big climb. The first of two first class climbs. It's a real opportunity. You can see Sari start to struggle ahead. But as long as we keep it fairly close to the front of the peloton, then I think we've got no issue um, of being up there at the end of the climb. Well, this already is an incredible stage, isn't it? Just look at this. First climb. I don't think I've ever seen this before. First climb. And there's already five to six different groups. The Peloton is the sixth group. That is quite unbelievable. But I've stayed where we are. Impressively, 
All five of our men, apart from Athene, all five of our men are in that first group. Okay, we've not got much energy left. And we are going to struggle to get all of our guys to the top of this climb successfully. Without really losing too much ground. But that burden always falls on everybody else as well. That's how you've got to see. Everybody else is going to struggle. And, uh, well, everybody coming back into the group. Now, I'm not too sure where uh, the other man is. The other big man is a gear here. But as you can see... The Peloton is a little bit behind this group of four. And there's three of our guys in this group. Swifty, amazingly, is there. You've got to give credit to Swifty, who's been uh, a man who's fought on all fours. This uh, All fours? I don't quite think. All, um, all categories, if you like. He's fought for everything so far, and that's real credit to him. And to be honest, we haven't really got to put too much of an effort in here. We know Gagan Hart... And uh, Medus are our two best mountain climbers. We'll just tell uh, Swifty to persist smoothly. We can definitely get some extra points here. And that Peloton is not really going to catch up, I wouldn't say, before the end of this climb. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I don't want to put in too much pace. There's that Peloton. It might well catch up now. So we're going to put a bit more pace in. This is going to be very intriguing. Uh, Medubus looks okay. Gagenhart looks very good. He's very impressed with how Gagenhart looks here. Swifty's starting to lose a little bit of energy. But I'm not too concerned. I think it's going to be pretty tough to get all three of our guys in the points here. But Frank's starting to fall back a little bit. This is a big chance for Medubus to take ten big points. Well, I'm not too bothered about Athene. This is fascinating though. Keep an eye on him. He's in, our, he's in our own team, you pillock. Yeah, it's going to be a long day for the guys who fall behind. Oh, only the first climb. This is how we're starting to struggle. Well, to be honest, I'm quite happy to pit our guys against each other here. I really am. Um, Gagan, Hart and Medus. Just to see which one is the best, ultimately. Uh, you know, I might retract that statement, actually. Do we just make sure that uh, Maduus gets the points here? I think that possibly is something we might be worth doing. Certainly might be worth doing. I, I'm okay with Swift falling back a little. I'm not too concerned about that. With half kilometre to go, we'll get... Uh, well, we'll just get Gagenhart to follow any attacks. Same from uh, Quintana and from Van Baal. Might be a chance for them to pick up some of the smaller amount of points. At the back here. And here we go, 0.2 kilometres to go. Who's going to be the man at the front? It's going to be R2, I think. Definitely is. What an effort that is. Medus, 10 points. Gagenhart, 8. That is fantastic. That is excellent. Have we got any chance of our other two? Uh, Quintana's in 21st. Van Baal is 27th. I think it's Quintana we're looking at maybe to get some points here. It's going to be tough though. Push your way through, can you? Can you push your way through? You certainly can. Lovely. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Quintana attacks fourth. Gagenhart second. Medua's first. And crucially, remember, Izagia didn't take a single point there. Excellent. I'll tell you what, Medua's is a man who likes to put in a bit too much work sometimes. He's, he's almost begging to be at the front of this group. We've got the second climb on now. And uh, he's always pushing to be at the front. That's what I just told him. Calm down. Persist a bit smoother. As you can see, Gagenhart's the man with far more energy at the moment. Okay, and uh, there's no need for Medus to take that much of a risk at this point. Another five points available here for the Mountains classification. Remember, of course, we're trying to get the yellow jersey here. So we don't want to burn, that burn out too easily. We do want to make sure Medus is okay, though. So we'll just keep him on the back of Gagenhart for this uh, start of this climb. And I'll see you guys as we get close to the top. I'm conscious for time here because there are a lot of a lot of highlights in today's stage. And it could get very interesting. Breakaway over now. Uh, we've let Gagenhart and Medus let everyone catch up a little bit. And I'm very conscious for Medus here. Again, he's he's taking... I don't want him to protect anyone. Just tell him to persist smoothly. Same as uh, Ben okay, Swift. But I think... Uh, well, I thought Medus was the best thing since sliced bread on mountains. Seems this man is. Okay, we haven't exerted him too much in the uh, first few stages. 
Gaggenhart, but the amount of energy he's got here is incredible. And again, I suppose Maduas went in the uh, early breakaway, so I'm being a little bit harsh on Maduas here, potentially. But the amount of energy that Gaggenhart has got is a big opportunity. A big opportunity here to try and get quite a nice lead. So, we'll uh, get Van Baal to follow any attacks. Try and get a few points if anybody who might fancy it. I think he's a gear he's potentially in this group. As long as he doesn't get any points, it's all that matters. Madu is starting to lose a little bit of pace. Uh, which is a bit annoying, but, you know, you can't win them all. But uh, Gagenhart is going to easily get the points here. Let's uh, see what Van Baal can do. Uh, he's not really there, is he? Too late, really, to do anything. No. But uh, nobody of danger gets any points, so I'm happy with that. Medua, I'd hope, should be able to catch back up to this group. It's not too bothered about Swifty here, to be honest. But, uh, you know, we, we've got a few more climbs left, so we can't really afford to use much of our feed here. We might just be going with a lost cause with Medua, so we might just have to leave him today. Again, you can't win them all. He's a brilliant rider. But our priorities today probably have to be um, our two new guys, Van Baal and Gagenhart. We'll try and get him back up to the group. But if we can't, then it's uh, it's a focus on those two men. So here we go for the third second class climb of the day. They come quick and fast. They really do. And the good news is that Maduas is back in the peloton. We've got four of our guys in that nine peloton. And that really is credit, um, to be honest, for, for how solid our group is now of riders. Uh, we are going to wait for the guys behind, but I'm conscious that Sosa is going for it. And remember what happened to us last year, I think it was, when Sosa started to put on the style a little bit. So we're going to have to keep up with him. But that's maybe a bit of a distraction. We can maybe afford to lose a little bit of time here, actually. Thinking about it to Sosa. He might be trying to burn us out a little bit. We need to watch out for distractions. You know, I might just be there as a burner a little bit. Trying to get us to use a bit more of our energy. And to be honest, I think we can let him go. I think we can let him go here. If he takes five points, he's took nothing in the mountains classification yet. Unless he's a big player in that final climb on that big... Uh, first class climb. He shouldn't be a problem. As long as he can take a few points off his gear. And as you can see, he's absolutely way behind here. Where's everybody else? And as you can see, you know, there's no immediate danger. No immediate danger at all. So that's really good. Really, really good, that is. Uh, you know, everybody else who can challenge us, who's got points so far, is either in that second group. Uh, it's now become that first group uh, behind the peloton. That first group or that third group. So there's really nobody who can be any sort of pain to us. Well, let Sosa go here. Well, we can recover some energy on this climb. No problem with that. Obviously trying to get some points. Uh, probably with Gagenhart. I think we will prioritise him for the polka dot jersey. Wouldn't worry about it. I wouldn't worry about it. You know, he... he it might be something he might win it. We might come to really regret this decision. But as as uh, sports director says, the stage is long. I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all. Swifty back in this because we've reduced, reduced the pace. We've let a few more guys back into it. Which again, I've got not to. I haven't really got too much problem with. But admittedly, I don't really know what the the standings are provisionally for the classification. I've lost touch a little bit. As long as one of our guys wins it, um, I'm not too bothered. Don't want to push too much with Gagenhart here. We will uh, tell our other guys to attack. Quintana, Van Baal and Maduas. Okay. And maybe just take a back seat with uh, Gagenhart for this climb. Hasn't really got the energy here. Come on, Maduas. Ah, he's still got it, isn't he? He's still got it as Maduas. He's still got it. Three points for him. Quintana starting to pull away a little bit. Oh, this is great. This is really great. We have got a really solid group now. Really have. Fantastic stuff. So two climbs left today. Another sprint. Let's see how we get on. Well, as predicted, we've caught up to Sosa, but it's a different man in the breakaway this time. We are focused on a lot of different men. And it's actually Van Baal who's gone this time. Trying to get some points. Only two points available here, so not the... Most dramatic of climbs, but again, you know, the most more points we can take, the less chance anybody else has got of getting everything here. But I think because we've got the yellow jersey, 
Um, I think a lot more guys are going to try and persist here, which might go to our favour of guys just burning their energy out too early. Um, or it might go against us. I suppose you just never know. We've only got the one guy in this breakaway, so any chance for one man to get any points here. Had two of Van Biles like on these mountain passes. He doesn't look too bad, does he? He does not look too bad at all. Brilliant. Two points for Van Baal. Outstanding stuff. We took most of the points today. I think, really don't think we can complain. So, it's uh, a long way toward the next sprint. We can take all of our feed now, thank God. We've done really well, to be honest, with a lot of our guys um, to not have took any of our feed so far. Got that feeding zone coming up soon. And it's a long way. Just a nice flat stage then. We can chill after those really tough climbs. Um, we've done well to keep all of our guys in this group. Uh, real credit to keep them all in the peloton so far. Apart from, obviously, Athene. Uh, but uh, it's not really till the end, sort of last 15, 20 kilometres now that it gets exciting. So time to chill, and I think that peloton um, will catch back up with us very shortly. So we now come on to the sprint, uh, the final sprint. So let's just have a look at the permutations, what we've got to do. Basically... Beat Kakar, who's in this uh, sprinting group. He's a lot better sprinter than Van Baal, but even so, um, beat him, and we take the green jersey home. And there is Kakar right ahead of us. You can see him in the green jersey. And, uh, yeah, we've got a decent chance here with Van Baal. We'll also get our other guys to put in a good, uh, a good uh, shift as well. Just to try and get... Uh, maybe not Quintana, actually. Quintana's okay there, but... Uh, Gagenhart, Maduus, give ourselves the best chance. This is really helping out your teammate, basically. Try and put as many men between us and that man who's just behind us, Kakar. He might well beat us. We might be caught napping, but we'll have to see. Uh, there's nobody ahead, I don't think, who's a real danger here. Nope. So it's just a straight fight. It is just a straight fight for this green jersey. I mean, look at how far the other guys are behind. Quite amazing, really. We've got this group ahead. And uh, nine minutes back then to that group after the peloton. Amazing, really. I'll tell you what, I'm going to put a bit of pace in here with uh, Van Baal. Okay, that's enough, I think. Just something to put a few seconds on our opponents. And I think that might be worthwhile here. Kilometre and a half to go, and I think it is going to be worthwhile. I think it definitely is. 1.2 k's to go. We'll tell Gagenhart... In fact, tell all of them to go, you know. Tell all of them to go. Give ourselves the best chance possible. And Kakar isn't here. He is not here. So give ourselves the best chance possible. And it looks like it's going to be fairly unexpected. But this man, Van Baal, is going to win the green jersey. That is a fantastic effort. That is an absolutely fantastic effort. Ben Swift takes seven points. Uh, does any of our other guys take the points? Kakar takes four and, uh, well, that's brilliant. Really good stuff. And uh, that's one of the jerseys secured at least. And now the hard work starts. 20k's to go. We've got this final climb. And really, who do we choose? It's a case of who do we choose. Van Baal's got that 12 second lead. That's a nice cushion to have. And then it's a choice then between Swifty, which it isn't really, and our uh, other two guys, Gagenhart and Maduas. This is a tough choice to make. This is a real tough choice to make. They've all got a good amount of energy. Maduras and Gagan Hart probably looking the best here. But Van Baal has got that 12 second gap. That's just a nice cushion to have. Hmm. We've got a decision to make. And, uh, well, I'll see you guys when we get to that first class climb. It's all going to be about a survival of the fittest. So there it is. The 10 kilometre line. There are some guys who have got away, but I'm not too concerned. Uh, let's have a look at our guys here. Van Baal's not got that much energy. So we're just going to give him a bit of blue gel. Again, there's a few guys who have got away, but we've got 10 k's to go. We're going to catch those quite easily, I would have thought. And it is a straight choice. And I think we're going to have to make that choice in the last few kilometres. Um, I think Van Baal's out of this now. He's got a little bit too um, little energy. It's really between our two men. Who do we go for? Do we go for this man, Maduas, who we're on board with here? Or the other man, who's right by us? Tao Gagenhart, again. It's going to be a decision we're going to have to make in the last few kilometres here, to be honest. I presume that's, uh, that's got to be Maduas at this point. It's got to be Maduas. He leads at the moment. 
this group is going to get smaller and smaller. We'll tell Van, uh, Ben Swift to take his blue feet. Try and keep him in this group as long as possible. And then he will inevitably fall back. But of course, this is not only a battle. In fact, I forgot about this. Of course, there's some sprinting points available, aren't there? Not that I don't think it'll matter, particularly. Um, I don't think it'll matter, actually, for the classification. So scrap that. Yeah, Ben Swift's been dropped. I'm not too surprised about that. Our other, our other guys are in here okay. Van Baal's going to start to uh, come back a little bit now. I think that's inevitable. I think he's just going to lose his way here. He's done really well, to be honest. And, uh, you know, he should be rewarded here, hopefully, with that green jersey. Uh, I don't think he's going to be able to keep up here. We'll just tell him to persist, uh, persist smoothly. I mean, you've got to give credit to Quintana as well, who seemed to lose a little bit of that magic that he had last uh, in season one because Medeiros was the main man but this group is getting smaller and smaller and smaller Medeiros, Gagenhart, Ben Swift and Van Baal all in that group still did I say Ben Swift? I think I did but you know what I mean, you can see the names there there's 22 men in this group that group is just going to get smaller and smaller and uh, as I said in the last few kilometres it's just a case of choosing Medeiros or Gagenhart. It's going to be a tough choice to make. But as long as they're both there, it's a choice we're going to have to make at some point. Two brilliant young riders. And uh, to be honest, I think in the big tournaments, the Tour de France, you know, those two could be real players. Really could. Only 16 in this group now. We're going to tell uh, Quintana to take a bit of feed. He's starting to struggle, unfortunately. It's okay, our leader's buckled. Again, I'm not too concerned. Calm down, calm down. That's a good point, actually. Uh, just making sure nobody... Because obviously there's Harada who's got a little... Yeah, Harada's here. Oh, that's not going to be very helpful. Harada is uh, in this group. Gagenhart's fallen back. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, there's obviously this, uh, there's that, is it Farada? Forgotten his name already. Who has obviously got a four second gap on the rest of us, courtesy of finishing high up in one of the stages. But there's 15 guys now in this group. Five kilometres to go. We're going to have to keep an eye on everyone here. This is going to be tricky to keep an eye on everyone. But I think this is the man we're going to choose. Time to put some pace in. That was a good move, I think, from Gagenhart. Look at how that group is falling back now. Look at how that group is falling back. We can definitely uh, decide to just cool it down a bit now. It's not. It's definitely not a case of uh, we're going to do this. Just need to keep an eye on our guys behind. We could certainly finish very respectfully uh, first and second here even. But this is a great gap we've got with Tao Gagenhart. We can just afford to step off the gas a little bit now. I mean, look at that. The gap is nearly a minute. To be honest, I think if we picked Medeiros, we could have done it as well. But we had to pick one man. We had to make a decision. And that man at the moment is Gagenhart. Just trying to get a bit of energy back. Uh, again, we don't want to get to the top here and explode. And it might well be Medeiros who we pick at the end of this. But we're looking okay in terms of uh, our three main boys at this point. And those now are Medeiros, Quintana and Gagenhart. Providing that Medeiros and Gagenhart do well here, we should take the white or silver jersey, whatever you want to call it. Um, yellow jersey, of course, we're looking for. And then polka dot jersey, we should take as well with one of our guys. This should be... Um, a brilliant execution. And at the moment, the guys behind aren't catching up. I think it's going to be Gagenhart who has the glory here from the yellow jersey. And it'll be well deserved. Where are the other guys? They're quite a way back. I don't think they're going to do it. But we can't be uh, all cocky. Quintana's starting to fall back a little bit now. But we can tell him to have the rest of his uh, blue gel. Same as Medeiros at this okay. point. Two Ks to go for Gagenhart. 
I'm gonna get my doers to push here. Just try and really push our opponents to make sure they definitely don't catch. Don't use too much energy here. Want to be beware. Right, lad. Good. That's just split the group up a little bit. And uh, I think we're going to have to give it to Gagenhart here. Although, look at this. We've... Uh, Maybe a little bit a bit silly. Just use all of our energy here. The yellow jersey is one minute thirty away from you. Yellow jersey's a minute and a half away. But this should be Gagan Hearts to win here. We'll tell Maduas to attack. Put in his best shift. But I think okay, it's gonna be too little too late for him. There's the finishing line. Last shift now with Tao Gagan Hart. And Tao Gagan Hart wins LaRoop course. Well done, sir. Well done. Fantastic. Whew. That was tough. But we did it. I'm very proud of ourselves there. So we've got the yellow jersey with Gagenhart. We should have the green jersey with Van Ball, But we'll have to see. Um, the polka dot jersey. God knows who we've got it with. I'm presuming it's got to be Gagenhart taking those 10 points there. Depends how many Maduas I suppose got out of that climb. I think we should have a full load of... Uh, of Jersey, but we'll have to see. But still, a very good start to season three. I'm really happy with this team we've got. So that winner of the stage from a fantastic break from about five kilometers out. Well deserved. He's the man who had the most energy before the end. Again, it could have been Maduas, but we chose Gagenhart. He wins the stage, and it's one of our men who wins the route course. I am 99.9% .9 sure it's got to be Tao Gagenhart. Well deserved. He wins the yellow jersey. We also win the points classification. Again, it's a lottery. Who is it? I think it's Van Baal, but we don't know. It is. It's Van Baal. Our two new guns doing brilliantly. Yellow jersey for one. Green jersey for the other. You can't ask much more. Polka dot jersey as well. Is it Gagan Hart? I think it is. Or is it Maduas? It's Maduas. Well, he snuck that one from his mate. Brilliant. And... Uh, Great stuff from Maduas, and presumably then, it's got to be Tao Gagenhart who gets the other jersey. Really great to see. We've got three solid men now. Quintana's solid as well. He's unlucky to walk away without a jersey. But uh, what a performance that was. Brilliant. Huge congratulations for this win, guys. Our chances of victory were virtually nil. This is an outstanding performance. You beat all the favourites. We finish with the yellow jersey, the green jersey, and the polka dot jersey. It's simply phenomenal, guys. Well done, lads. Whew. Madua's got second as well. Fair play to him. Fair play to him. And that's what I think he needed. 23 points for Gagenhart in the climbing classification. 21 for Madua's. That's what must have won him that. Gagenhart, 20 points. Van Baal, 17. I mean, we did really well. Really well on all footings there. Outstanding from Gaganot. Outstanding from Madua. 17th for Van Baal as well. He loses there at the end. He's got to be a bit disappointed with that. But he just wasn't there at the end. Quintana as well, 30th. Ben Swift, 32nd. Really good run from our team. Athenia, Caden did brilliantly. I mean, just look at that though. Outstanding. Four of our guys in the top five of the climbing classification. Five of our guys in the top eight. Points classification. Three guys in the top ten. Young Rider classification first and second. We really can't complain at that. And Tao Gagenhart now takes the lead to the pro cycling rankings. And just look at that lead we've got. Two men at the top. 143 points. That is absolutely outstanding. And well, we've got uh, some more fun. We've got uh, Paris Nice to come after this. And that will come at the start of Tuesday's episode. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. A bit of a longer one. Just as an apology because, of course, we didn't have the episode on first. So I can only apologise for that. Just things got in the way, really. And hopefully, we'll be back on Tuesday with the start of Paris Nice with that time trial and the flat stage. Well, I don't know what to say. Surely you've enjoyed that. Surely that deserves a like. And uh, comment your thoughts as well about how that LaRue's Blurit course went for you. And um, also, subscribe for regular Tour de France content on Tuesday, Thursdays, and a Saturday. Thank you for watching. And until the next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye for now.